Hello everyone and welcome to The Hive with everyone's favorite game show, The Buzz. Today's topic is how sex determination differs in humans and in bees. I'm your host, Ryan Beekris, and let's meet today's contestants. I'm Phoebe. And I'm Ruby. And I'm Beyonce. Today we got three female bees competing for the top prize of Queen Bee. But first, let's hear a little bit about yourself, ladies. I have the highest recombination rate of any animal studied. That means my gametes combine with other gametes real quick. I get around. I can do that too, and I'm three times more closely related to worker bees than to my brothers due to my haploid diploidy development. For our, bee, for our bees at home, haploid diploidy means that unfertilized eggs will become our haploid males and our diploid individuals are usually female. I can do both those two, plus if our queen dies or doesn't come back to the hive, I can start to lay eggs within a couple weeks. I can do that too. Well, well I, I can, can do, do that better I than you. I can do what you guys can do too. Yeah, well, I can do it the best I can do all us. three of those best. Ladies, ladies, don't get your buzzers in the bunch. Now let's go take our seat and start the game show. Alright, question one. What is a sex determination system? Uh, a process by which sexual characteristics of an organism are determined. Bzz. Uh, some organisms only have two sexes. Bzz. Some only have one and they're hermaphroditic, which means both male and female. All right, everybody gets a point. That was the bee's knees. Good job, ladies. Now on to question two. More specifically, describe how this so-called sex determination system works with those pesty bee-killing humans. It all depends on X or Y chromosomes. Females develop from possessing two X chromosomes, and males possess one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Being a male or female human comes from the combination of a female egg X chromosome, meeting the male egg X or Y chromosome carried in sperm. Huh? Honey. You've got to pay attention. One point for Ruby and Beyonce. Alright, question three. Unlike humans, us bees are a little more complicated. Who can tell me how males are produced? Just simply an unfertilized egg results in a haploid male. It's not that complicated. And those males are called drones. Duh, and females develop from fertilized eggs. Bzz. And those females become worker bees or one special queen bee. Bzz. And that queen is developed by being specially fed quality and quantity food. Excellent! That answer was beyond expectations. Points for everybody! Now for the final question. This one is worth double the points. It should be a stinger. Hopefully not a buzz kill. The final question is, since worker bees are incapable of mating, how can they spread their genes through the hive? This is Phoebe, I think you were first. We spread our genes through our unfertilized eggs that turn into our haploid males. Beyonce, Ruby, Anything to add? Un. Be. Leaveable. Alright, two points are awarded to Phoebe. That leaves the final score at three points for Beyonce, three points for Ruby, and four points for Phoebe. We have a new Queen Bee! Wonderful job today. You are now the 
new queen bee. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I promise that under my control, the female to male ratio will be 1 to 1 as it should be under a queen bee instead of 3 to 1 as it is under worker bee control. Now off to work you two.